Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Peachy and this channel is all about my Sylvanian Families collection. In today's video we're going to be unboxing this vintage set on the left here and this is the Ivory Mothers Sewing Shop. And we're also going to be comparing it to this set here which is the Handicraft Shop. So a number of the items in the sets are the same but this one has some additional items and also comes with the lovely Ivory Rabbit Mother figure you can see here. I've got a separate video on the channel unboxing this set in detail so I'll pop a link to that here. We're going to focus on this set today so I shall move this one out of the way for now but we will take a look at the pieces from this one compared to that one as there's some differentiations in colour and I'd like to see exactly what's different and what's the same. Recently I got this book from Japan and this is a Japanese edition. I think it was kind of a reward when you were in the collector's club or you got it through points or something like that. And it has been really helpful in there being a number of pretty pictures in here but also with release years for Japanese editions. So I found this in the book, earmarked the page and you can see the Handicraft Shop was released in the year 2000 and then down over here is the Ivory Mother's Sewing Shop released in 2001. So I actually thought this one came out first and then the Handicraft Shop set but nope it's the other way around and this book has been so so helpful in just getting those dates kind of firmed up especially where information is a little bit hard to find when something's Japanese exclusive. So let's start by having a quick look at the box. I like the pink coloration on this, I think it's very pretty. This says Ivory Rabbit Mother's Sewing Shop. I like the little details of the kind of sewing bits and pieces around the sides of the box. Obviously there's a big window where we can see the figure that you get in the set. Lovely big setup image showing all the pieces that you get in the set. So I think you get everything here except obviously this, this cat figure who's shopping figure again on the side and more cute little sewing motifs around the border. On the other side you get a breakdown of the main pieces in the set so these bits are the same as the handicraft shop set and then these are additional. These are kind of the main pieces and then on the back it shows you the main pieces and then also a breakdown of all the smaller accessories. And again, I think most of this is included in the handicraft shop, except there's a number of accessories for the sewing machine that are not in that set. On the bottom, there's nothing, and I think we already looked at the top. So that's the box. So I got this one from Estella on Makari Japan, and I got it through a shopping service. I ended up getting charged customs when importing it, which was quite unlucky, so that made it more expensive than it really needed to be. But either way, I'm really glad to have it in the collection now. The thing that really sold this set for me was the Ivory Rabbit Mother figure. I think her dress and matching kind of hat accessory are absolutely beautiful and we'll see that when we get her out. As for the name of the Rabbit Mother, I think her name is Cecile, but I've also seen that it might be Angelica. There seems to be two mother names for the Butterclub family or the Ivory Rabbit family floating around. So I think I'm going to go with Cecile. It doesn't actually say anywhere on the box and I Google translated the whole thing. Also had to look online and I couldn't really find that much information on this set at all. But if you do know her official name, please do let me know in the comments because I'd really like to know. But in lieu of that, we shall be calling her Cecile. So Cecile Butterglove. As to how I've ended up with this set and also this set when they are primarily the same, I originally bought this set because I never thought I'd be able to get this set. So this was kind of to tide me over for getting the accessories and kind of making peace that I wouldn't be able to uh, ever find this set in good condition and for a reasonable price. And then this one popped up and it just so happened to coincide as to when I had been having a particularly stressful time at work, working on a very kind of urgent and high profile project. And out of that work at work, I ended up getting a bonus for the work I did on it. And I used that bonus to treat myself to this set. It, it felt like this was a very good reward for the amount of stress I'd been under at work. As to what I'll do with this version, I might end up selling this one on now that I have this one. I'm not sure that there's kind of a need in my collection to have both. 
It's an absolutely beautiful set though and the accessories are really, really cute as we'll see. So I'm not wholly decided yet but I think I might end up selling this version on. But yeah, let's get on with opening this one and taking a closer look. So this set was sold as brand new in box, um, the box had been opened for photos but apart from that it's not been touched or ever played with. Getting this out, the detail on this sewing machine is absolutely beautiful with the gold. I've never had one of these that's um, completely brand new so all the mechanisms working as they should and as they were kind of created to do so that's really exciting. I love the detailing on this and it just looks so clean. That's very exciting. I also don't think I have a green version of this and I really like that green colour. I remember from the interior shop that this set comes with an awful lot of stickers and bits and pieces that you have to put together so I'll probably do that off camera. Um, but here is all the stickers and there's a little book so this book might tell us um, the rabbit's name so I will have a little look through that as well but first let's get the figure out of the box and she is just absolutely beautiful I love this dress it's got a very cottagecore vibe I love the gingham on it, the little crisscrossing on the front with a kind of waistcoat and this beautiful floral fabric on her skirt which obviously matches on her hat. Love the lace on her hat and her little bent ear, I think you can see that better from the side and the back. So she's got her cute little tail, dresses all one piece. And she's of course fully poseable. She's a bit stiff though, being that she's been in that box since 2001. And she's absolutely beautiful and I'm so excited to have her. So let me go ahead and put all the stickers and things like that on and then we can have a look at the accessories it comes with. So here's everything all put together and that took quite a long time, just like it did last time but it's still quite fun to do it even though some of it's quite fiddly but let's have a closer look so on this one this is the little acrylic stand it's got some nice detailing here and then this was a sticker in this lovely green color i like the green and red got a little stuffed rabbit that i had to put all the parts together in this bag and then it has a sticker on the top and then we've got two booklets so we've got tall painting and stuffed rabbit and these are all fully illustrated and these are actually this one's actually in English and it shows you how you can actually build the bunny that's in this bag which I thought was really cool and then this one is kind of handicraft stuff different painting and how you can paint different things which again I thought was cool that it's like fully printed inside which is always nice to see Then we have another kind of rack. So there's a teddy bear that's already been put together and I just had to draw the little face on. 
then there's two little bags so like handicraft bags so there's this little yellow one which looks like it's for a toddler and this pink one which looks like it's the right size for a child figure the set also comes with this lovely quilt green on one side red on the other here's the stand so it's this lovely wood effect and it's got a cute little heart carved into it here I like the red uh, kind of accents on it and I like that the handles for the drawers are little buttons and in this drawer I've just got a little paint palette, a ruler and some fabric scissors. Put that back together in a minute. And then the main stand is this sewing shop stands. So you can see the sign, if I just pop these there, you can see the sign on the top here. And then it comes with five reels of thread and five tiny little pots of paint. You can see they say paint colour on them and I had to put all those little stickers on and make sure they corresponded to the right uh, bottle cap. There's also this little paint pot with two paint brushes, red and blue. I like the detail on this, I like the flowers on the sticker. Oops, well, dropped that. And all my paints have gone everywhere. Oh, it's very fiddly. We'll do that in a minute. Then these little drawers pull out. And you can see in this one, there's little embroidery threads. And they're secured together in the middle with a sticker. And then in the other drawer, I've put lots of these teeny tiny Sylvanian sized buttons. I think those are very cute. And the thing I like about this unit when I get the drawers back in is because it has this little window on the top here you can see what's in the drawers without actually having to pull them out which is really cool so that's kind of everything that is the same as the handicraft shop set except we'll see there's some differences in colour in a minute and obviously we've already had a look at Cecile and I did go the whole way through this little book in Google Translate but unfortunately it just calls her Mrs ivory or ivory rabbit mother all the way through so it doesn't actually tell us her name as far as i can see so we see we've looked at the sewing machine but the sewing machine accessories include three reels of thread a ruler uh, these lovely red fabric scissors which do open and close and then these two little sewing accessories here and then of course you also get the stool so that Mrs. Butterglove's got something to sit on. And some fabric for putting through the machine. This fabric's very pretty with these cute little yellow flowers. As you can see I've put everything back together now but I forgot to mention it also comes with this cute little sewing box. I can get the camera to focus on it, there we go, it's got flowers on it and some nice red details and this does open and close but it's a little bit stiff. And finally it comes with this little basket with three balls of wool in it and I had to put the little stickers on these and fold them up but I think they're very cute and they look really effective. So I like the sticker on this one, it's a cute little kind of bunch of flowers. So to compare this one to the handicraft shop, so I've got the bits here. So first of all is the acrylic stand. So obviously this one in my hand is from the handicraft shop and it's obviously got a different sticker stating handicraft shop or sewing shop. The books are the same, however the covers are different which is interesting. The stuffed rabbits are the same interior or like the same contents in the packet but the stickers on the top are different um, but the acrylic stands themselves if you took all the stickers off they are the same with the same detailing then if we take a look at the smaller stand so you can see the one that came just here with the sewing shop that is brown with red whereas the handicraft shop is pink with kind of a yellowy orange and that runs through all the same details Obviously we've seen the heart on this one, this one also has the little carved out heart. The scissors and paint palette in this one are a nice green colour. 
but in the handicraft shop they are red and you'll see the paint palette in a minute but the scissors are in here and they are red same mold and everything just different color um you do get the same quilt and same teddy bear so the only difference with the teddy bear is that my fiance drew the face on this one and i drew the face on that one so they're very slightly different but that's because you have to draw on the eyes and nose yourself and then the sewing shop comes with two additional accessories in these little bags. So the handicraft shop doesn't have those, which is interesting. But otherwise, the main differences here are just colours. And looking at them together, I'm not sure which I like more. Like the brown wood is very nice and kind of natural looking, but I also like the kind of soft pink of this wood. So my brain is telling me they're different enough to keep both, you know. Um, so we'll have to see about that, but my brain usually wins out. And then finally to compare are the two main shop stands. So here's the sewing shop one and I'll just carefully bring in the handicraft shop one. So again, it's the difference in coloration. So we've got the brown and red and the pink and kind of yellowy orange. In terms of the little accessories, the, the sewing box is the same mold but different colours. This one's orange, this one's red. The signs are obviously different, handicraft shop and sewing shop with a different decal on the top. So the wool is in the same colours but different sticker. They both say wool and yarn though. And the box is the same mould but again a different sticker on each of them. Threads are exactly the same. The paints are exactly the same just with a very slightly different sticker but the colours are the same. And then if we take a look at the contents of the drawers very carefully this time. So in this one you can see for the handicraft shop that the paint palette is blue rather than green like this little sky blue but the paint brushes and the little ruler they're the same and also the buttons are the same so the buttons to buttons exactly the same and the embroidery threads These are the same threads, but again, different stickers. So this is the handicraft shop ones, and this is the sewing shop ones. Also, we can see on the stands, the paint pots, while the brushes are the same, the paint pots are different colors, again, with different uh, floral designs on the stickers. So they're actually a bit more different than I thought they were. I thought they would be kind of everything exactly the same. But there's a variation of stickers and a lot of variation in colour, considering how like close together the two sets came out, 2000 and 2001. And then obviously we've already said that in the handicraft shop, you don't get the sewing machine and you get no figure. And also no storybook, interestingly enough, I guess, because there's not a figure in there. So overall impressions, both sets are really lovely and I guess if you're trying to decide between the two it's really about thinking how much you would like to have Mrs Butterglove here and how much the sewing machine is important to you because the bulk of the set this sewing machine can be bought separately obviously in slightly different colours but you can get this and all the accessories it comes with as a separate set. Mrs Butterglove you can get Mrs Butterglove separately but the dress that she's wearing here is exclusive to this set. So I guess it's about thinking which colours you like the best and how important the additional accessories um, would be to you. Uh, for the last part of the video I want to bring Mrs Butterglove into the sewing shop behind here and also set these items up in there. So I'll do that now and then I'll be back with you to close out the video. Here we are with everything put into the tailor's shop. I love the idea of Roxy and Cecile just having this little sewing corner where they can sew together. And then they've also got the other bits and pieces for sale in the shop. I did a full setup of this shop, so I'll link that here if you want to see um, a bit more detail on the tailor's shop as a whole. But I think they look perfect together. They've both got these lovely kind of cottage core, homely outfits on. And I think they'll really enjoy working together. 
Obviously I had to take some of the accessories out. I'll probably have a jiggle around and try and fit everything in, but this shop is quite cramped as it came with a lot of accessories of its own. So I don't know if I'll be able to get everything in together, but we shall definitely try. But yes, that's all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this set with me and comparing it and seeing what's the same and what's different to the handicraft shop. Let me know in the comments which of the two sets is your favourite. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now.